Hello everybody, I am MacG, and welcome back to another one of my videos. In today's video, we will be going over MC AngelNet, the application I have written, and what it is, it's a reverse TCP Minecraft server. And this here is the plugin that we will be writing, and this is the uh, TCP plugin, the client. And as you can see, I've got the server here. And let me just go ahead and change this port for video tutorial. Uh, start. It's going to beep. And then we're just going to have to allow allowed access through the Windows firewall. Unless I already have done that. I think I already have done that. <laughs> so I'm just going to actually change that back. Because um, I think I have things running on that port anyway. Uh, so, we're going to copy all this code here, and we're going to go over to Java, or Eclipse, and of course I'll have download links for everything in the description below. We're going to go ahead and create a new Java project, and we're just going to call this uh, plugin. Oh, plugin. And we're going to go ahead and import the server files, so import, oh, wrong one, we're going to build first, then add external jars, and here that's where we're going to get the server, and all other server versions, oh, when did I just install that, did I, okay, alright, there we go, all fixed. So now we're going to go over here and create a package. We're just going to call this uh, either com or, or me, whatever you want. com.plugin. Plugin. And this can be whatever you want, really. doesn't matter, to be honest. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to create a class. So right click on the package and create a class and call it main. And hit enter. And this is where you want to get your code. And copy. And you're just going to want to paste it right in here. Then you're going to want to go up here. And we're going to change that package to the, oh, the package over here. The login. Okay. We're going to right click on the plugin. I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call this plugin.yml. I'm going to do the name. I'm going to call this plugin uh, version. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head on how to do this. 1.0. Description. Oh, I think I spelled that wrong. Description. I'm going to call this uh, remote admin. The main. And the main is going to be com.plugin.main. Then author. Uh, I'm going to do. You can put this as whatever you want, so I'm just going to put this as MacG. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Okay. I'm going to export this to my server. So, export. Jar file. Yep, and I'm going to go ahead and call this plugin. And that's the name there. I'm just going to build that. Now let's go over here to my server. I need to put that into there. I'm just going to stand up. This may take a bit, so I'll pause. Okay, it's starting to load up now. Oh, by the way, make sure you add, I forgot to say, make sure you add your public IP address, so uh, you can click that to automatically get your public IP address. And make sure you put it into the code where it says where it says um, IP. So that. That's all you need to edit. Just put that as your public IP address and make sure you have that port 
folded in your modem. Oh, and it already has come up here. And just double check for errors. Uh, okay. I think I know what that is. Send the send. Okay, yeah, I know what that is. It's okay. Um, so we're gonna right click. Uh, we can have the server chat, and I should probably log into the server, shouldn't I? Gonna go here. And as you can see, there's my name there. Here we go. Hello. And it says console said hello. So it says hello. And I can change the name to Jim. Hi. And Jim says hi. And a cool feature which I add is you can spoof player chat. So hello. And that user sends a command. This is also good if you want to use uh, slashes. You can also have them execute commands. So say hi. Oh, and as you can see, I do not have permission to use that command. Which then brings me to my next little feature. I'm gonna go misc. We'll first do plugins. It should show a list of plugins that's on the server, and there should just be one plugin. And then we can, of course, disable it and enable it. And I don't think I did check status, but eh, I'll probably delete that later, so it won't be there. Uh, refresh list, it just refreshes the list. Uh, let's go to MISC. Uh, you can log players' IP addresses, for security reasons, of course. And here is the server. And I think I just need to move or something. Then it should. There we go. <laughs> and then you can search for the name, and it should show up in here. And then you can auto save it if you need to, for future reasons. So, let's go to player, enter playground. And we'll just give this a few minutes to load up. And by a few minutes, I mean seconds. <laughs> okay. So that's the server IP, and this is the um, motto of the day. And there's the IP address of me. Enabled plugins. Okay. I can, of course, I'm de opt on my own server. Um, going to op. And I now have op. Oh, wrong thing. I'm gonna mute. Mute is also, it's amazing. <laughs> So you can type whatever you want, and nothing shows up, and all commands are blocked. So, can't do anything. So that's me. Now freeze. It more or less works the same. Where you just can't move, and even if you relog, um, sometimes I notice with some people's plugins with that, if you just relog, it fixes it. Uh, but with this, if you relog, you're still frozen and muted. So there's that. Um, so I think that's it for the playground. Uh, there's the server chat, uh, split console. And of course this uh, puts in whatever uh, people say or the other console. So if I go over here and I say, uh, say test, it'll pop up here. I can say test and it'll say angel console and it'll execute here. Um, now one of the other features here is you can turn off the server, uh, silently reload it, which will just reload it without showing up with any messages in the chat. You can disable the main user console which is this, so say hello, and it's disabled. So that's good, uh, if somebody has your remote login, you can stop them from using it. 
So let's go ahead and re-enable that. And there are a bunch of commands in here, which we... that I won't go into all of them into this server. But God mode, it's just simple. God mode can't be kicked, banned, um, or IP banned. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and you can install a plugin. So let me go grab a plugin. So I've made a plugin and I've put it up on here. So you want to right click and get the download link. And install. Plugin name is um, welcome.jar. And there's the direct download link. So it's going to attempt to download it. Then it's installing it. Then it reloads. Then if we go slash plugins, there it is. Welcome. So that's just something handy that I wrote um, to install extra plugins if you're on the go and you, and you lost your console access for some odd reason or something like that. So that's so that's something nice. Um, what on Joshua? That's just something I wrote on just. Uh, for when the server reloads and you're in god mode. So yeah, it's just saying, so you can know that, um, that the plugin's still installed and it hasn't been deleted or something's messed up in it, because I know that does happen sometimes with it, but I'm pretty sure I fixed most of the glitches. Uh, sudo Say hi. Um, you can block the stop command. So, stop, and, and it just saves, <laughs> it changes it to save, so, stop, and it just saves it. Mute, de up freeze, uh, enable, disable console, exe, you can send it as the console, uh, add plugins, you can get the plugins, here, you can listen to a certain player. I think, okay, so if I go oh, at ear, no username, okay, it's listening to me. So if I type help, uh, it should say that I executed help, so that's good to monitoring some users. And I think that's about it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll leave all the download links in the description below. And have fun testing your own security on your own Minecraft server. Enjoy.